Okay, whenever you're ready to start, start. Okay. Welcome to Lifelong Learning at Roden Library. I'm Librarian Joyce Ellison. We're here today with longtime yoga instructor Betty Kidney. Now, Betty Kidney has taught Hatha yoga classes in Hawkinsville from 2005 through 2019. She began practicing yoga on her own in the mid-1970s, taking yoga classes in Atlanta and in Miami, Florida. In 2003, she received teacher certification from the Asheville Yoga Center in North Carolina. She taught for several years in Douglasville, Georgia, before moving back to her family home in Arkansville. Well, Betty, can you show us how to begin a yoga routine? I'd be glad to. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, we're thrilled Thank you for here. such a warm introduction. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. Good. Good morning. I've got a chair here beside me. Maybe you need one too. If you do, grab one. Otherwise, just listen to me a second. Um, this is about breathing, inhaling, and exhaling. We do it every day. We just don't think about it. We don't think about our lungs expanding and our lungs contract, contracting. But with this, I call it the full wind stretch. But we'll go through it completely before we get to the thing. Uh, I call it the full wind stretch because it's an inhale here, and it's an exhale here. That would be north and south. And then it's an exhale here, excuse me, going this way, that would be east, and this would be west. And you know what? I think I pretty much have that down because the river is east of here and my home is west of here. Not bad for me being inside of the building. Let's get started. Please just be comfortable, listen if you'd like, participate if you'd like. It won't be anything that's really hard for you to do. Betty Kidney is my name. Thank you for being with me. So here we go. We're going to breathe in. We're going to inhale through our nose and we're going to exhale through our nose. The nose is the most breathing, perfectly breathing process. The mouth, we often do when we're in a hurry. <laughs> the mouth has got teeth in it, it's got a tongue in it, and it produces saliva, which allows for digestion in our system. And the nose has little tiny um, hairs that filters the air as it comes in. So it's the most direct way into our lungs. Let us begin. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. Again, inhaling and exhaling. One more time, inhale and exhale. Good. My full wind stretch has to do with bring, bringing your arms up. So that would be with an inhale and then bringing your arms back, which would be an exhale. And then you would inhale up again and stretch high and then fold forward, fold from your hips reach out and fold forward even if you're in a chair breathe out as you're going down exhaling completely and then inhale up again the next part of the four uh, four seasons or four ways <coughs> excuse me uh, is the right side coming up inhaling and then leaning over, keeping your hips straight out in front of you, leaning over to the left side, that would be an exhale, and an inhale up again, and exhale down. So you inhale on the expansions, and you exhale on the contractions. And again, you inhale on the expansions, and exhale on the contractions. And now let's try it all together at once. Inhale up. And as you inhale up, arch back, exhaling. Inhale up. 
up, stretch high up, and fold forward from the hips, and exhale down, breathing out on your way down. Inhale up, and exhale down. Now the side stretch. Inhale up, exhale down, one one. Inhale up, and keep those hips straight in front of you, and exhale over to the four bend. Inhale up, exhale down. And once again, on the opposite side, inhaling up and exhaling over and inhaling up and exhaling down. If you saw my hand on your chair here, maybe you need a chair beside you. So bring one forward. Have it close to the hand so that you feel more secure. Same postures, you can just do it in a different way. So let's just tie it all together one more time, and then we'll show it in a different fashion all together. Exhale, inhale up with your arms. See my hand on the chair, exhale back. You don't have to go too far, just look up at the ceiling. Inhale up, facing forward again, and then fold from your hips, exhaling down. See my hand is still on the chair. If you need that security, exhale. Inhaling, so bringing the breath up. You're expanding the lungs, remember? And exhale that arm down. So this time, I'm going to inhale here on the side. And this is the east-west side. Exhale over, my hand is still on the chair. I feel very secure, and I hope you do too. And exhale down. I'm gonna turn my back just so this hand can stay on this chair. And so do the opposite one, inhale up. Exhale over, inhale up, and exhale down. And speaking of chair, if you want the chair completely, if you say, I can't do all this stuff standing up, then that's not a problem either. Now, I'm pretty short, so you can see just my toes are touching the floor. But I'm sitting against the back of the chair, and I'm going to do the same postures all over again. Exhale, inhale up, arch back, exhaling, bringing, well, leaning against the chair, and bringing your eyes up to the ceiling, and exhale, inhale up, and now exhale down. Inhale back to the center, and ready for the four wind, so you might, you might want to hold on, or maybe you have an arm rest, you might want to hold on, exhale, Breathe out, inhale up with your arms, stretch, and exhale over. See, the chair offers a lot of security if you feel just a little bit that way. Inhale up, and exhale down. How about this other side? Inhale up, reaching up high, exhale over, and inhale up, and exhale down. Got all that? Want to do it again? Good. No problem with me. Exhale. Inhale out and up with your arms. Lean against the back of your chair and arch back. Exhaling, let the breath go. Inhale up and now fold forward as far down as you wish. Maybe you just want to go to your knees. Maybe you want to go toward your toes. Exhale. And then inhale up again, bring your hands. This is called namaste. And namaste simply means the peace in me recognizes the peace in you. So it's often used in yoga. Inhale up with your right arm and exhale over to the left. If you have that arm rest, you might feel just a little bit more secure. Inhale up and exhale down. And the opposite side, inhaling up, exhaling over, inhaling up, and exhaling down. And I, I know you saw a lot of little balloons here, and you thought, a kid's party? No, 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 not a kid's party at all. This right here 
represent your lungs when it's full. Look at there, I can't match it, I can't do anything with it. This represents your lungs when it's full. This represents your lungs when you exhale and you can bend. So remember, inhale and exhale. When you, if you are in the bend, you want to exhale so to get the breath out of your body. And when you inhale, you want to fill your lungs up. So there's my little balloons. That's what they what I, what I brought them for. Again or not? What is your thoughts on this? Please get in touch with the Alaska County Library if you have any ideas or thoughts about this program that's just been offered. If you'd like some literature on it, just get in touch with the library. They'll get in touch with me and I'll forward it on to you by way of the library. And thank you so very much for watching and I hope it's been beneficial to you and enjoyable at the same time. Well, Betty, we certainly thank you for being with us today and for demonstrating these great, great exercises. All we need is a chair and someone like you to motivate us. And I went this morning to pull some books about yoga because we have some in the library. You'll be pleased to know they were all checked out. Oh, I think wonderful. there's a lot of interest in mm -hmm. yoga. But I did pull one book by Maria Semple, and her book says, Today Will Be Different, and I wanted to read a quote that I thought you might enjoy from that. She says, Today will be different. Today I will be present. Today anyone I speak to, I will look them in the eye and listen deeply. We listened deeply to you. Today, I will take pride in my appearance. I'll shower, get dressed in proper clothes, and change into yoga clothes only for yoga, which today I will actually attend. Today, I will be my best self, the person I'm capable of being. Today will be different. And we thank you, Betty, for, for helping make our day today different. And, and hopefully we can show more of our best selves through the calmness that yoga brings thank to you. us. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching another edition of Lifelong Learning at Raven Library. Okay.